well, ladder steps and you and you and you make it all to the very top and you see some people uh, you see some people inside and it looks like there's two people there and they're animatedly talking at each other we have our supplies in our backpacks right yeah those supplies you need to give them at least okay so bishop takes off his backpack with force and slams it down on the desk near to them so it makes a great sound <laughs> like so yeah so bishop like b opens the door and like slams it right on there and there's yeah. like, oh god, oh god, oh, oh, people, visitors, uh, are you from, uh, are you from town? One of them is already holding, uh, pulling out a gun. Are you from town? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, we're from town, and uh, we just came okay. to pick up, pick up the supplies. Uh, no, no reason to okay. pick up a gun. It's all we, all right, we're all right. not, you know. They, they put it away. Be like, you, you can, you can never, you can never know. Sorry, we've, um, it's not the first scare we've had. Um. <sighs> They look over towards the partner like oh what the one the one that's talking uh seems to be this like 20 22 year old uh a two year old guy he look he's a little bit on the shorter side and he looks towards uh to the other person another like this one's like an older male about like 30. Oh, the one that held the gun was like the 30 year old guy and just like <sighs> we've been hearing things lately and uh, we just been a little jumpy my apologies Nothing to worry about. We're here with the supplies. Right. Thanks for the supplies. The older man goes up <laughs> saying, um, yeah, you can leave it right there. Thank you. Is that all? Uh, I think um, so Maria or uh, Agent Atlas wants to know a little bit more about the situation and is asking what they've been hearing and if they are okay. We're okay. We've, um, he like looks over, he looks, looks over to the thing. We've been hearing some noises in the woods. Probably nothing. My partner here, as smart as he is, isn't exactly the most uh, brave of heart, as I'd say. But uh, trying to get a signal, trying uh, trying to like get, get out there. We've heard nothing back from anybody. Some weird static. Every once in a while, we hear like with this weird ringing noise, but that's it. It's it's over. It's over the radio. Hopefully, we can maybe get a second watchtower out a little bit further, or maybe just. I personally think we should send people out uh, over to a nearby town and try to make contact there. I know it's like a while out, but I don't know. So we we've seen the dead deer outside. So are there like wild animals outside? Do you do you guys need any support or? Oh yeah, wild animals. We have a gun and a hunting rifle here, so we're pretty. We're pretty equipped, um, but I really appreciate it. We, we can't really go hunting out regularly, plus I'm also really scared of uh, trypanopia. There's, there's this kind of like parasite in like wild animals. If you just eat it without cooking it fully, you get like like worms and it's terrible and it makes your body hurt. Yeah. And, and the older man just like wipes his face and be like, just cook it well enough. It's not that big of a deal. It's like, you don't know. You don't know. I've, I had a friend that ate bear meat, got sick. It, you don't, it doesn't go away. It's always in there forever. And then they just start arguing again. This sounds like something that Laxton should uh, know about. Yes, Laxton shoots in, he says, and I agree with the older man. Just cook it well enough. It's not big of a deal. The guy goes, thank you. See, if you now if I had a partner more like this, like, oh, I'm not going to partner now, or am I? And the, and the kid is almost like starting to cry. And, and, and they're like, it's like an old married couple. Michael looks at a duke and um, asks if he can't have a word with the younger one. Duke's pretty shy to the strangers, so he, he passes. Michael knows this. He takes notes of it. So yeah, they're arguing. Uh, at some point, the older man uh, goes, I can't talk to you right now. Not when you get like this. You just just talk to me in a, in a little bit. It's like, oh, you're the only one I can talk to. It is like, it's actually kind of cute, but also like sad. It's like, look, thank you so much for coming in. Um, Yeah, no, we're good. With all these supplies, we, we should be fine. Thank you. Could I ask a question, please? Sure. Is it possible for us to uh, to spend spend some time here to dry up our clothes fully before we move on? Oh yeah, no, yeah. You look, you guys look like shit. Come on in. Thank you very much. You go inside this watchtower, and it's a little bit more spacious. Uh, there's a, it's like two rooms. There's like a place for like, there's two cots in here, a small little like portable heater and a portable stove. It's a lot of like simple shit, and there's like some barrels that with like rainwater things like that. But uh, yeah, you're able to put your clothes right over the heater. Fantastic. You have all like dried up your clothing, and you're all ready to set out again. Smaller guy, uh, it's just like, are you, are you? So you're all okay? You're all ready to go out? Um, that you now know his name is Peter. He like made some small idle chit chat with you all as your clothes dried up. And so, what do you all would like to do? Just head on back. Mm, I would like to really listen to this weird noise they've been hearing on the radio. 
Peter will say, it's like, oh, it doesn't appear all the time. Um, typically really late at night, between 10 to 1 a.m., 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Sometimes it's not too frequent, but it does happen. Okay. So what what time is it in the day? I'd say, okay, so you all started out roughly around 11, like 11.30. Mm. It took about like an hour and a half of travel, plus also the fact you have to dry your clothes, so another like... 45 minutes from there i'd say it's probably about like 3 3 30 because it's uh like winter it's already starting to, it's you can tell the sun is starting to set place here starts setting by like five o'clock so i'm just trying to understand here so our orders were to deliver the supplies and then head back to the town i guess from from what you remember yeah okay so we have no reason to stay here and we should head back right now i guess yeah, uh-huh. from what you remember yes Okay, so I, I'd love to listen to that, but maybe we can we can come back some other time if you guys don't if you're not interested in this other watchtower, we can maybe take this info and, and bring it back to the to the other guys in the in the town. What was the recap of the other watchtower again? Well, they wish there was another watchtower. Okay. Okay. Yeah. These guys they they need the food because Peter is very picky. Tell you'll note that the other guy every once in a while like uh, does seem to have like dried meats. You can see that there's some vacuum sealed bags of like the other guy like trying to like create some dried meat um things like that so bishop doesn't see any other signs than you know return back to the town so he gives peter a clap on the shoulder and says you know well good luck oh thank you and peter nods and like thank you all for the supplies like um come back soon probably bye bishop turns back and does a thumbs up bye i guess <laughs> <laughs> and you all slowly leave the watchtower. Yeah. And you all are heading back home. By the time you finally head back into the city, it's about like 5 o'clock. And 5 o'clock is when the sun has like started to set pretty low. So a sunset has like crested over the entire town. Um, but just barely. Because of the tall mountains, it actually gets darker even a little bit sooner than that. So while the sky is kind of lit up, the town is already in, in like dark. Uh, however, uh, because of the local power grid, there are like street lamps and like lights. And some people like having lanterns nearby as well. You know, at this time, it's most important to like report back to the town hall, but you could really do anything you want. You want to just go on home, report now or whatever. I think we should go back to the town square, report back. Yes, we should go back to the times where we can also send a message to this Shrudo and say, Mission accomplished. So Bishop stops the group, looks down the street there, and sees the, the bar. And he says to the rest of the group, uh, let me buy you a drink before we head back to uh, base and report. Michael looks at uh, Bishop and he says, are you crazy? You do realize that we have an underage guy with us? I say, <laughs> they serve water. It looks fine with it. That's fine. I will I will take a, right. like a alcohol-free, gluten-free beer. Everyone nods, so I lead them down to the bar because I've walked that uh, road multiple times in my life. I don't know if Duke and Newton wanted that, but I think you just dragged them along. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. I'll get, a, I'll get an apple juice. <laughs> 17 isn't a kid. Like, it, you're not nine, but I... <laughs> uh, Michael looks at Duke and he says, After this adventure, I think it's time you drink something stronger than apple juice. Dude, dude likes the apple juice. Okay. You enter the bar, and it is particularly small, but mm-hmm. there are a handful of people here. Part of the thing about a small town is that people don't have a lot of hobbies here. And uh, while a lot of people do, they tend to drink. And so the bar is bustling with like, eh, let's say about like seven people. Uh, some people are playing darts, some people are playing pool, some people are drinking. It's like a good evening. Nice. So um, who goes up to order the drinks then? Well, this is uh, Bishop's domain. So he's a regular here. He just walks up to the bar. So Michael uh, walks up to Bishop and uh, tells him, I'll have whatever you will have. The Bishop says, two regulars. So, uh, is it possible for Mike Laxon to uh, technically tell the bartender to slip some alcohol into Duke Nuke? Nu- <laughs> you <laughs> can... <laughs> oh, you, okay, uh, you're going to need a charisma check because the, if you tell them that, they're like, ah. Uh... You know what? I'm down for a charisma check. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it, let's check, go. please. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Oh my god, this is gonna. Uh, uh, You're gonna try to deal with a nine. Bam. Oi. Oh, yes. Nat 20 to slip the kids some alcohol. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh-huh. Tell them, yeah, yeah, give them a rum coke. Heavy on the coke. Yes. I walk up to Duke and I say, they're out of apple juice. I, I bought you some coke. Thank you. 
I do love to make some coke. Does that mean that uh, Duke is hangover tomorrow morning? Uh, Duke, uh, can I get a constitution check? Duke, what's your constitution? It's a one. Can I get a, a d20 plus one? You do not get immediately drunk off this one. You actually <laughs> handle your alcohol quite well. Oh, that's good. That was, a, that was a nice, nice cola you gave me there, Michael. Do you want one more, Duke? Oh my god, yeah. don't. Yeah, I do love me some cola. Yeah, one more, please. Okay. I will make it happen. Oh my god, you're the worst. He'll, uh, signals the bishop, one more coke. And they're like, yeah, okay. And they give you another rum and coke. You're just trying to get- You're just trying <laughs> to make this- You're trying to make this kid a man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. That, perfectly fine. Yeah, no, they're handling this very well. They are getting a little bit like, uh, they're- They're drinking and you're like, yeah, this is- This is a small town vibe. Tricking kids into drinking alcohol. Fantastic. Anyways, you guys have a- Like a decent evening. Would y'all like to talk? With each other, or just want to move on? Yeah, I, I want to, like, Ma Maria, I mean, she mainly came to find out more about those people. Bishop, hey, um, I noticed you were, like, you were really freezing when we were all hanging by the cliff. Uh, what was going on there? Bishop goes, um, it's something you reminded me about something in the past. Don't worry oh, about it. Okay, so, yeah. But then, uh, suddenly, to change the topic, Bishop asks um, Maria, why did you ask about the radio back in the Watchtower? Yeah, that, that's a fair question. I mean, we're not able to communicate, and these people seem to have some kind of signal on the radio, so I was just curious um, what kind of signal they're getting. Okay, do you suspect that some foul play or some sort? Oh, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. Okay, Bishop nods. Uh, Laxon sits in the corner, looks at uh, Agent with a questioning look on his face. Mm. Is, is, there, is there any problem? Uh, just uh, wondering why would you listen to a radio signal? Are you looking for some sort of uh, Morse code? Well, are you not somehow uh, questioning what's going on and why we have no signal? Or are you? do you know anything more about this? I'm not the... Uh, I'm not a special agent that uh, randomly appeared a year ago. Actually, not not so special, not so spe special. I'm, I'm, you know, just kind of. Oh, uh, just... obviously, uh, special enough to not tell us what department you're from. It's uh it's just the Bureau of uh, Internal Minor Affairs. Hmm. Okay, note that down, Duke. Bima? The Bureau of Internal Minor Affairs is B I M A or Bima. <laughs> Yes, yes, Bima is, is totally um, an office <laughs> where no one wants, wants to work at um, that I n did not make up at all. Yeah, it's the Bima. Well, uh, yeah, uh, Michael looks over at the uh, slightly tipsy Duke and uh, just put, puts on a little grin. Yeah. You're all having a good evening. Yeah. yeah. In an attempt to actually uh, talk with uh, Duke, Bishop says to Duke, good job not getting yourself killed. Of her droning is the worst kind of death. Thank you. We should have as far away as ways. Duke, you do know that thing was like, bare, like waist high. You could have just like stood up and you'd be fine. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah, but some people freeze when they um, fall in cold water. Like, uh, they uh, physically, there's like freeze, they don't know what to do. So uh, you never know. You never know. Job, you never Duke. know. Good job, Duke. You're growing up. Yeah. You're trying to you're trying to take this kid under the swing and this and this <laughs> awkward kid. Uh, you all you all push this awkward you effectively push this awkward kid into a river and now you're trying to get him drunk. It's not <laughs> not looking good for you guys, but I yeah. Can I may, may I ask what kind of relationship you two guys have? I see that you kind of you're very close to this minor all the time, and it you know. It, I don't want to judge you guys, but I'm, I just want to know, like, are you okay? It might be the first time y'all have met, you don't know. Wait, so they met first time and he's totally creeping on this young, awkward teenager? There's, there's, there's a difference <laughs> between uh, creeping and uh, caring about strangers. Because mm -hmm. uh, caring about your customers and people is what makes your business thrive. And uh, once all this is over, maybe in like 20 years, if he happens to move to this town, maybe he will use my services. He will think back to that one day where I almost saved his life. Right, but what kind of business do you have? I'm a pest control mogul. Pest I take control. care of rodents. Mm. But uh, you won't know this because you sit behind a desk all day. Oh, me? Yes. Oh, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I think you guys have been too mean to, to Maria there. Well, uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you young citizen well that's that's just how it is that's just how it is i don't take like to foreigners that keep secrets wow <laughs> it's you know I'm, the thing is i'm just not proud 
of working at the Bima department. You know, it's not, it's nothing that I, I worked for and, you know, I've been training for, for years and years. And, and my boss, who's a fucking douchebag, he put me there and I, you know, I've been working this job and I hate this job. And now I, I was just here for some vacation. And then all of a sudden things were falling from the sky and we have no connection whatsoever. And I have no means to contact anyone. And I'm now I'm here chopping logs and, and falling in rivers with dudes, I don't know. So sorry if I don't, you know, like open my heart to you. <laughs> wow, uh, that was a lot. <laughs> no, that's, okay. that's okay. Just gotta just gotta make the best out of it for now, uh, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. As, uh, says Mike, Michael says that and uh, takes another sip of his uh, alcoholic beverage. At this time, you actually get a um, get a little like message. Beep 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 beep. Beep beep beep. beep. You uh, did you all do the thing? Yes. Yes. I'm answering. Yes. And then back then, it's like, uh, do you have the reports I asked you for? Oh, uh, SMH. My favorite part is when Squeaky was like, oh, yeah, what do we need to do here? It's like, uh, it's like we just need to get the supplies, right? Yeah, as you remember. <laughs> oh, God. oh, it was a setup. <laughs> <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Did we forget the thing? <laughs> She knew that we forgot about it. But well, Michael looks uh, looks question questionably questioning and uh, asks uh, reports. I thought we were only meant to deliver the supplies. Whoa, 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 whoa. My, did Michael text this back to him? No, no. I ask you guys around the table. I'm like, yeah, I'm sh shocked because we were uh, we had to do more than just deliver the supplies, like reports. If you scroll up your messages, you'll see explicitly it says uh, get them the supplies and bring back the reports. Oh. Uh, Bishop realizes this now that <laughs> <laughs> we should have gotten the reports. So he's looking around to the rest of the uh, people around the table here. And he says, uh, should we lie or oh. should we... And, we and don't, print we some reports? Or how, how do these reports even look like? Are they printed? Are they handwritten? Are they, you know... Oh, no. I, I got you, boys and girls. I'm going to text back and I'm going to say that Peter told us that um, the reports about the reports were fake. What? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> did, did you just text that? <laughs> Schroeder messaged back to to the group chat being like dot 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 dot. Are you serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. Seriously? Okay guys, I'm, I'm afraid we have to go back there tomorrow. No, 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 no. We need to see if the reports are important or not. I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe ask Schroeder if we if he urgently needs it or we, if we can get it tomorrow. Okay, Michael flips up his uh, flip phone and types in. Okay, okay. Hear me out what, here. What do you type? I type. We got some reports, but which one are you referring to? Question mark. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, there was a lot of there was a lot of uh, <laughs> A, a lot of reports in that little cabin. <laughs> they've been writing it for days. Like uh, they've been reporting everything that is happening in the in the close by environment. You know, uh, so uh, we could only take so much because uh, the, the sun was setting and we had to get out of there before it was completely dark. So Bishop takes a drink with one hand and gives a thumbs up towards uh, Michael with the second uh... hand. And the guy responds. The response like. The reports of the la uh, of the last week concerning uh, transmissions, new transmission data, and any uh, abnormalities. These are written reports. I'm gonna need a new cola. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we we have no written reports. We could just tell tell them what they told us. I mean, what are the consequences if we fail here? I mean, they can't fire. There are major right? consequences, but he's gonna. Uh, but Schroeder will want you to complete these. Jesus Christ. But how, how come they didn't know we're here for reports? That's that's awful. It means they didn't have reports for us. I I guess they forgot as well, like you guys did. <gasps> where these? Yeah. The, but these were the real people who were supposed there to be there. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. We need to shift the blame. Exactly, Kaya. Yeah, yeah. we no, the blame is really on you, Bishop. <laughs> No, but uh, when we came in there, uh, they were almost immediately arguing and pointing guns at us. Uh, we had to defuse the situation and uh, the reports kind of slipped our mind. But uh, I think we just uh, let this be and run over there in the morning and get the reports and run back yeah. at the dusk of dawn. Yeah. Or I have another idea. We go there now because we know the way. We're just slightly tipsy. <laughs> we're there by midnight and then we could maybe listen to the signal on the radio. I mean, have you just... seen Duke? Is it three colas deep? Yeah, but he, he doesn't. I'm okay. say, yeah, he's okay. Are you really okay? Are you, you good to go? Duke believes that he just had uh, like soda. So yeah. You know. What's the what's the problem? I just had cola. <laughs> and 
Yes. Weirdly enough, someone asked uh, Peter if we could sleep over there. <laughs> And he said it was totally okay to sleep in the watchtower. So we could head over there right now and just okay. power through it. It's very dark in the forest, right? Do we have any lights or flashlights or anything like that? You could procure that very easily if you had some uh, of your own or from the town hall. Okay, I don't know. So town hall is switched from governing to also a a being like a center for like, you know, information mm. and resources. Yeah, but didn't you also say that a lot of the houses had lanterns outside? Yeah, they have lanterns. You're just gonna steal one from outside? No, no, <laughs> hear me out here. Let's say uh, <laughs> me and the, and, and the squad, as I would call them, uh, rolls up, uh, knocks on the door. And asks very nicely to borrow a lantern for the night because uh, everybody knows the laxon, you know, and the uh, laxon are trustable, trustworthy people. We could just take the boss lantern on our way out. I, I I believe in a lot of things, but I don't believe in theft. Uh, that's private property, and uh, it belongs to the bar, and the bar needs lighting. I do apologize. Okay, so we guys, we just want to go now. We don't even want to confront anyone. We just take some light, and we go quickly, and we just ignore messages. Yes, now. but uh, there's no guarantee that a duke uh, won't snatch any lights. I won't steal any lights. Okay, that's good. Well, do you want to go to the town hall then, or do you want to just uh, knock on a random door and ask? Uh, let's go to the town hall real quickly. Yes. Yes, let's go. You all head to the town hall. There are several tents around the town hall. Probably where, like, yep, um, they, they've set up, like, some, like, information relays, some, uh, where people, like, sign up, talk to stuff. But as you go inside, you hear, like, what looks to be bubble, you hear bubble popping. You hear what? Bubble popping? You hear bubbles popping. And you look to the right, and you see this kid. He's kind of got, like, this bowl cut and, 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 like, square glasses. He is the nerdiest thing you've ever seen to exist. And he's wearing, like, one of those, like, big fluffy coats with, like, the fur, uh, fur trim. And in his hand, he has what looks to be a pipe. But as he puts his mouth to it, the bubbles come out. Okay. This <laughs> one, you would recognize as Schroeder. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> and he goes, like, how to get a nerdy voice. Uh, you know, I didn't expect, admittedly, you would have the forethought of coming out this late over here. And what I imagine to be a supply request. Am I wrong? This kid looks to be about at most 13, 14. Oh, jeez. It's like a weird, it's a weird, it's a weird mix of stuff. One, the bowl cut to the thick glasses, but also like the almost mob boss level fur lined coat. So the kid is being cocky towards us, basically. Oh yeah, absolutely. He is, absolutely. It's also really like oversized for me. I'm guessing it's like a men's, so it's like very oversized. It practically goes to the ground, by the way, the coat. <laughs> If you're looking for some supply requests, I'm here. You know that Schroeder actually lives in the town hall because he's uh he keeps really close to all of the stuff. And he goes, if you're looking for a supply request, I'm like, you can either talk to my assistant or talk to me right now. And he pops the bubbles in his like little pipe. Whoa. Well, uh, I guess we explained to him that we need to go back to the to the outpost. I guess you know Duke lives there for the time being, so he kinda knows Schroeder. He explains that they forgot the report that they're gonna go out to the watchtower now and get it back. So they're gonna need some lights. All right, if you really want to go out this late, you know there's you know there's mountain lions, but I ain't gonna stop you. It's important. Uh, make sure you also uh, so we'll also put in a little bit of request for one of these then. Uh, and he like goes over and he, he he goes in the back. He like talks to this guy and it takes a couple minutes, but the guy comes out with uh, two lanterns as well as uh, two handguns. Agent, hey, yes, you better, you better take one of these. Yes, good idea. You say that, but her dexterity is plus one. <laughs> Bishop is afraid of everything that explodes, so he actually takes a step back. Uh, Laxon looks at uh, Duke and he says, "Do you want to have a go at this? Should I take one?" Uh, I think I think you should take it, Michael. Don't ask me twice. Maybe you shouldn't. You've had some drinks. Can you can you handle it, Michael? I've been I've been in the worst storm before, my friend. Don't worry about it. Says Laxon and takes the gun and puts it safely in his backpack for the time being. Jesus. Not inside his uh, rat water water suit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry, backpack? You want it in your backpack? It's, not, it's like a little hard to... A rat pack. Okay. Put it safely in, inside his jacket then. Okay. Near his uh, rat suit. Who took the second gun? Maria. And where, where do you put it? In my weapon holster, obviously. Oh, so you already have an empty weapon holster. M Michael looks in shock at uh, Maria. Why do you have an empty uh, empty gun holster? Because uh... <laughs> <laughs> he'd be walking I... around with his empty gun wow. holster. <laughs> wow. No one has questioned, but. 
It's a memory of my of my former position <laughs> that I cannot let go of. <laughs> and I, I guess it fits beautifully. It just slides in there. That is a, that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 like that, 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 that killed me. That killed me. That was amazing. That's so good. Yeah, I, I just look, look at, look at uh, her in awe. Wow, always prepared, I guess. Always. I'm ready. Let's go. Do we have bullets too? I mean, I, I, you know, just like a weapon holster without a gun, like a gun, gun without bullets is a little bit. I mean, I, I guess you checked it for, for, for bullets because you're already yeah. an agent, you know, so you know this stuff. You haven't been given an extra magazine, so ah. you all, you, so each of you have 13 shots. Okay. Whoa, okay. It's hmm? manageable. Have you shot, like, who is the second gun? Lexon, right? It's me, yeah. Have you shot before? Of course I have. Oh, yeah, sure, the rats. Oh, right. The, oh, yeah. The, yeah, not, okay. not only rats, you know, take oh. care of everything. Everything <laughs> oh. that uh, invades a personal space. Okay. Right. You all gather up all your stuff, and as Shor and as you all leave, Shor's like, you know, don't get yourself hurt out there. We don't have a lot of manpower. One of the ways I was able to get Duke over there to work is because he actually lives here. I let Schroeder know that the bar has great colas. And you all head out. You are out back at the outskirts at the, uh, again. You are back at the outskirts of the town again. I, because it's dark, I am increasing the target number. Not by much, just to 10. Uh, so it's one more difficult because it's darker and it's night. So all rolls you do now will be against the number 10, unless it's easier or harder. Anyways, you all head out again. You know the deal. Who's got first lead? Someone with a gun, maybe. N not the person that led last time because that ended up in the water. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wow. Okay, I, 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 I take whoa. the lead. I, I, let's go. Let, don't fight, guys. Don't fight. We have a long way. We, we gotta hurry up. Can I get a wisdom check from you? However, you do not get the bonus from a spyglass because it's dark. So it's just zero, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you get lost. Oh. You guys get absolutely <laughs> lost. It is dark and you're unsure what to do. You think it's this way, but it's actually that way, but it's actually this way, but it's actually that way. It's dark and it's late and uh, you thought it'd be easy. But going through the forest, uh, through a dark forest, is even harder at night, unsurprisingly. But before that, I ask uh, Maria, are we going in the right way, Maria? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Sure. Well, definitely. Definitely that thing. The thing that was said. <laughs> you guys get no progress whatsoever. Anyways, who's up next? Since uh, I'm the other responsible guy with a gun, um, I'm taking a lead. Okay. I will uh, sacrifice myself. Okay, can I get a roll? Roll it up. Uh, with uh -oh. a nine, Ow. you also get deeply <laughs> lost. Ah. You, think, you think it's this way, you think it's that way. And you also get lost. It's so dark. You've made all these mistakes. Everything is so difficult. Time passes. Um, every time you guys get lost, I'm like knocking in my head like a half hour of just being lost. Fuck. Ah, uh, good. Next up, Bishop or Duke? I guess Duke could try. Could give it a go. Duke, give me a wisdom check. Whoa. Duke, you actually know. You actually like, hey, wait, what about this way? I remember, I remember this uh, river because I, we fell in it earlier. <laughs> 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 That's right. Bishop says, finally some progress. All right, so uh, give me, roll me uh, your basic effort, which is a D4 plus whatever the thing is. Uh, your basic effort, I believe, is one. So give me a D4 plus one. Yeah. Two. You're like, oh, this way. Yeah, you yeah, two. That's pretty, that's okay. You you, you are 20% of the way there. Next up, Squeaky. Mm, so Squeaky pushes forward. Which way? I'm going east. Uh, give me a wisdom roll. Oh, shoot, you got it. Roll me, uh, roll me your basic effort. Ooh, he's really good at uh, basic stuff. Yeah. Six? Jesus Oy. Christ. Yeah, no, so you are 80% of the way there. Squeaky. Here's actually a thing. As you wander around, you actually find what looks to be a geocache. So you'll know in the area nearby that every once in a while, you'll f uh, people around here just like to bury stuff, and you find a geocache. As items inside. I tell the group, guys, something is here. I'm just going to check it out. What do I see? As you open it up, you find what looks to be a couple cans of beans, i.e. food, a flashlight, Whoa. as well as a box of matches. And you also find a necklace. Necklace of all things. Okay. The necklace in particular, it is a charming necklace. It gives plus one to charisma. Okay. So I guess Bishop opens this up, the box, and he says... Look what I just found. Necklace is really pretty. Oh, that's some good stuff you found there. Yay, finally a flashlight. So I asked the group, should I put everything in my backpack? Yeah, go for it. Does anyone want a necklace? Mmm, this looks nice. I would take it. 
Okay, Bishop gives the necklace to uh, Atlas. It's black. It's my it's my favorite color. So cool. Perfect. All right. So uh, you have you can add just plus one to your charisma. Who's the next one to to roll? I think everyone's rolled at least once. Yeah. Someone gets to roll a second time. I roll a second time. So you can roll, but this time because you're doing this for a second roll, it's actually a little bit easier. So it gets a seven. Okay. So roll a um on wisdom again. Yeah. Roll wisdom. Congratulations. Please roll me a basic effort. Uh, three. You find the watchtower. Uh, let me, let me calculate. You all took about two and a half hours, right? Okay, so you guys took a while. You guys got lost in the woods randomly. You'll note the watchtower. It's, uh, it, it should be decently lit up at night. Like, yeah, there's, uh, there's, like, a, a light at the very top. But you'll note that there's a what almost looks like a beam of light shining out of it, a little bit brighter than usual. Atlas, can I please get an intelligence or wisdom? You get plus three because of your spyglass. Uh, I do the intelligence. Okay. So you actually spot that it looks like the glass there is broken. Oh, snap. Okay, guys, um, the, the glass is broken, and I think there might have been something like a fight. Maybe he didn't cook the... The raw meat, probably. Probably. <laughs> okay, so maybe just to be sure, grab your weapons or guns and don't be trigger happy. We'll s let's just check it out, but just be cautious. Uh, yeah, I'll draw my gun. I'm loading it. Safety off. You slowly go up the ladder and up the stairs. You note that uh, there's some, like, um, how can I say this? It looks almost like some of the railings have been shorn, like shredded a little bit. Oh, wow. And you slowly climb up the steps to the very top. And the door is unlocked. And as you like, you open it through, you'll note that in the entire area is like the light at the very top is flickering. And so it switches from dark to bright. And when it's bright, you'll notice that there's a lot of kind of weird, this kind of like green purpley mucus all over the ground. Okay. Can someone identify what this, what this is? Like, Lexon, have you seen this before? Yes. Uh, take some of the goo on my finger and I smell it. Should I do a roll here? It smells awful and I don't actually know. You have no opportunity to uh, figure out what this is. No, I have no idea what this is. This, this smells like, smells horrible. It's completely alien to you. Yeah, no, I've never seen anything like this. Okay then. Let's let's try. Maria, to Maria, it. can uh, do you do you do you do you want to have a guess? Me? Uh, yes, I am guessing. You can get a roll. Uh, Duke, I'll also give you a roll. Give me intelligence. Uh, so I should roll too. Yes, please, Duke. Agent Atlas is a little stunned with her nine, and she can't really fully process in her head what this could possibly be. But Duke, you have a kind of inking feeling of what it is. It look, looks like something from uh, from one of my comic books. Exactly that, actually. I was about to text you that. I was about to like, <laughs> privately message you. It looks like something from one of your comic yeah. books. <laughs> do you, do you remember which one? Book? From the Space Adventures. From Space? <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of my favorite comic books. It's like, looks very alien almost. Oh, oh and here Maria turns around, looks at them and says, yeah. fuck. What do you mean, fuck, Maria? Is there something you're telling us? You, as, as she says that, and you look towards her, you hear uh, 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 a noise. Oh Peter! God. Is that you? Peter. No, be quiet, guys. Be quiet. Let's be quiet. Let's check out what, what's... If that's Peter. You think that's Peter? Someone there. Help. Okay, so Bishop takes up his flashlight from his backpack and points it towards the voice. You look into the corner of the room. Peter's there. However, buried in his stomach looks to be this weird, like, fleshy steak. It, 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 when I say steak, I mean more like a, like a wooden steak. Like something that you'd stab into somebody. But it's, mm -hmm. like, in his stomach. However, from it, these weird stringy tendrils are holding him down against the wall. <laughs> and, and blood is seeping from his mouth. So Bishop is quietly saying what the fuck while he's watching this. <laughs> Peter, Peter, what happened? We, uh, it's, uh, me, Frank, he, he found, uh, and he, like you see him vomit a little bit. Okay, does anyone have anything to, to help him, to heal him? Do we have bandages? 
I don't know what we're dealing with. I mean, I see a stake in his tummy. Do you think this is normal, uh, Atlas? <laughs> did you drink? <laughs> How much did you drink at the bar? No, this is not normal. No time to joke. This is no time to joke. I guess. We, we can't save this kid. He's, he's too far gone. He has a stake but, through his, through his uh, okay, internal he's, organs. He's still he's still talking though. Maybe okay. We should really try and yeah. try and find out what he saw. We need to keep uh, keep the pressure on his stomach, his internal organs. So we approach him. Don't don't pr pr don't yeah. press his stomach though. Like just don't touch it. We have to stop the bleeding for for the time being. But there's a there's the stake. It's still in it. No. Yeah. Yeah. But you ca you can't remove it. Yeah, but you, if you just press his stomach now, it's gonna be worse. Look at Okay, so Bishop is standing in the back, just having the flashlight on uh, Peter. Please don't stand there. Please help me. How can we help you? What happened I don't to you? Know. Get it out! Get it out! Oh God! Don't don't, don't touch it! Don't touch it! Uh, we have some, we have some beans. I want my mom. We have some candy food. I want food. my mom. <laughs> Okay, it's it's all good. We we will help you, but tell us what what attacked you. Frank, he found he found this like he found this. It was like it was it was it was it was, it was round. It looked like meat. It was like a box or, or or an egg or something. And there was like, oh, what is this? And and we we thought maybe we can cook it or warm it up. Because it looked frozen and cold, and we left it there for a little bit. But uh, next thing we knew, it, something, something flashed, uh, and something hurt. Frank pulled out his gun and he shot at it, but it ran away. And he's chasing after it in the woods. And at that noise, you hear a gunshot. Oh shit! So everyone heard a gunshot right now. Yes, you all just hear a gunshot right now. We gotta help. We gotta help Frank kill kill this thing before we can help. Uh, but what are we Peter? going to do with Peter? No, give him me. give him your yeah, Jack Daniels. Should we put him out of his misery? He's bleeding out. You go, you guys, you guys go ahead. I'll, I'll 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 stay with him. No, no. I think everyone. We need to. God damn it, guys. What are we going to do with Peter here? Listen to me. Just step outside. Give me a minute with him. What are you gonna do? Are you going to heal him? <laughs> I think Michael should put him out of his misery. This is this is not time for questions. Just 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 step outside, close you the door. You just want to kill him? You, we might be able to. Oh, that's true. I've seen a wounded animal before. Let me let me handle this. Bishop just wants to double check. Is there anything else we can do here? Uh, shouldn't we just try to pull out the stake? You haven't tried. You should. Maybe. Who knows? Well, if you if you think about killing him with like by shooting him, then we should at least maybe try to save him first. So yeah, let's let's try this first. Pull, pull out the steak. Who does that? Ah, uh, I don't. I don't like. I don't want to see people uh, suffer. Lexton, you have a steady hand. Let's it, go. It might save him. I guess. I guess. I'll get. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I see Bishop shaking a bit. I don't trust his hands. I need a strength check from you. Strength check for me. Yeah, if you're gonna okay. pull it. No, yeah, yeah. So bef before he does that, Bishop takes one step towards the door. Yes. And um, I also want to say this. If this goes haywire, Maria, you have to finish the job. Me? Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, this was I'm, your uh, idea. You're gonna, mm -hmm. you're gonna, um, you're gonna finish this one. It doesn't work. You try pull oh. and you try and pull, but nothing outworks and, and it happens. It seems stuck. And as you pull it, it actually seems to hurt them a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> It seems oh, it seems buried in there. Actually, I would actually like Duke to give me a roll on this one, but this time, uh, intelligence. Duke, looking at this, can reason using his knowledge of comic books. <laughs> imagine the inside might be barbed, and so he kind of like slowly wiggles it out instead of just trying to raw pull at it. He kind of like compresses, uh, like ex like it compresses like uh some of the spine, and it still hurts. But you're actually able to like pull it out uh, barb wise and it slides out a lot easier. I should have given Peter some Jack Daniels before we did this. Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, so he's maybe give him some now. It might help him. And then we have to go and help Frank, guys. There's still someone. Okay, okay. There is a, there is a gaping wound in his like stomach. Okay, while oh, Duke God. is doing this, I'm opening up my Jack Daniels and I'm just shoving down some uh, whiskey <laughs> into Peter's throat. <laughs> And make them drunk. That'll work out. Okay, let's put some pressure on the wound now. There's a like, uh, uh, Peter Coast. There's there's a there's a first aid kit. 
over there, and, and he says, pointing over towards cabinet. Okay, let's let uh, let's try and use this. I will try and and uh, and use the first aid kit. I, I get it, and I. It's a wisdom check, but you get oh. plus three because of the uh, first aid kit. <laughs> because of the spy glasses. <laughs> because of the first aid kit. Why? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I take a close look at it. I, I look at everything inside. Oh. oh no. Oh my god, a natural one! <laughs> Is that your first natural one in the game? Oh, and she's, man. Yeah. she's an agent as well. She should have basic training on how to use first aid kits. No, it's a, it's a stressful situation. Here's the thing. Um, <laughs> hey, can you roll me your basic, by the way, uh, uh, Atlas? You, oh, not oh. too bad. You you deal two. Da uh, you deal one. And can you also roll me a, a d12, please? You do three damage to this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! Ah! As you improperly tried to heal him, I think that Laxton should give it a go. Step away, Agent Maria. It's okay. It's okay. It's I okay. got this. I got this. Yes. He has okay, some sewing, sewing skills. I need wisdom from you. Plus three because of the thing. Plus three because of the thing. Okay, so it's gonna be plus five then, I guess. No, plus three. Yep. Don't fuck it up. It's a ten. It's Wait. literally a ten, you guys. Nineteen. Whoa. You do. You do great. You you know how to bandage this kid up, despite you being the one <laughs> wanting to kill him before. You're like, fine. I guess if I have to save you, you give him actually really good first aid. I'll make an exception for you, Peter, because I like you. Can I get your basic effort? Actually, no. Can I get your weapons? Actually, because um, I says weapon, but technically it's tools. So a D6 plus whatever your your weapons is. You have plus three the weapon effort. You heal him for nine, actually. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> I bring him back to life. Can't believe it. You oh heal you heal him and you, you actually see him feel look a lot better. And he feels like I'm tired. I wanna sleep. Oh wow. Please go help Frank. I'll be fine. <laughs> okay guys, so let's go to Frank, help Frank. Yeah, let's find Frank. Ask Peter, is there anything else we will, we should do for you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm all right. I'll be fine. I think. Just be careful. Okay. So we have uh, two lanterns. Should we put one? Is uh, how is the lighting in this room? Should we put one here next to Peter? It flickers on and off, so it'd be probably more comforting if he had a lantern. Okay. Should we put a lantern here? Yeah. I don't know I who's know. carrying. We could uh, we um, could try to maybe uh, fix the light before we went, but uh, I don't think we have time for that. Oh, is off the essence. <laughs> As we would just put you down hear the another gun. gunshot. <laughs> yeah, we hear another yeah. gunshot. Let's, let's get the fuck out of here. Le leave him be. We have to go. He, he said okay. he will sleep anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have uh, we can't we can't spare these resources. We need to light ourselves. You all book it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who's taking the charge? Who's going front? Duke seems to know his way around. Oh god. Yeah, Duke, Duke, <laughs> I run off. <laughs> Does uh, Duke run towards the gunshot? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like Ma Maria's self-confidence has suffered a little bit. She's also a little bit anxious of what's gonna of what's gonna be there in the forest right now. So she she doesn't want to take lead. She's just following right now with the gun. Dude, give me a wisdom. Okay. Dude, give me a wisdom check. <laughs> wisdom. I'm asking. I'm asking Duke for a wisdom. Eleven actually leads everyone uh, the right way. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this kid was quiet this whole <laughs> session, and then at the very end, he's like, wait, aliens, I know what to do. <laughs> very good, very good. And he leads everyone through the forest, uh, right towards the thing, and being like, it should be this way. Uh, you actually see, um, you actually hear an another gunshot. And now peeking through the trees, you actually spot, very poorly, you spot the uh, the taller, gruffer guy, Frank. He has like, um, he's holding a hunting rifle. And you see him like turning the corner and, and firing a shot, only for him to then be tackled to the ground as as if like sleep. And it's like ah! And you hear what sounds to be a weird chittering noise happening at the same time. Do we see what tackled him? Uh, it's just a dark blur. <clears throat> Is someone there? Help! We need to save him. Yeah, we need the gunman to to go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we go there. Uh, we need some light, Bishop. Bishop, please uh, use your flashlight so we know what to. Maybe shoot. Don't just shoot uh, Laxton. Please just look at what's there. We don't want to shoot Frank. So I just saw Frank getting tackled by some mist. So I'm trying to direct my flashlight towards the area there. Can I get a dexterity check on you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 13! 
With a 13, you're actually able to, to follow the thing with the light, and you see what looks to be this, like, it It, it, it looks, I don't know, it, look, it looks so weird, so, how can I say this? It almost looks like a swirling mass, yet also it has, like, multiple legs and a weird shape. Whoa, it's difficult okay. to, to really, okay. to tell. It's, it looks so weird. <clears throat> and you can see right now it is currently uh, pinning down Frank. Frank's gun is off to the side, and he's trying to reach for it desperately. But he's okay. keeping both hands, like trying to also keep this creature from trying to what looks to be. It's trying to seem. It seems to be using its claws trying to attack him, but he's able to hold it back just off with like a with a thick branch in between the two. So what Bishop does is he says Frank, and he runs towards the figure. Black draws his gun. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. We know. We, we, we don't know. No, no time to waste here. We have to shoot whatever is holding Frank down. I, I look over at him, Maria and ask, should, should I do it? <laughs> As this happens, I'm actually going to go ahead and make an attack. Oh, God, we, we're too slow. Yes. Uh, actually against a bishop. Bishop, <gasps> a, a spike oh. flies through the air towards you. And I'm going to roll damage. D12 plus 3. You take 9. The 21 hit you. And you take 9 damage. Oh god, so I have 2 left. Bishop falls to the ground <laughs> uh, like a giant spike in his stomach. I just halt. Okay, Lex, just... let's shoot. Let's shoot. Let's shoot. We, we kill yes. this guy thing. <laughs> shoot the thing. Shoot it! 